Nigori County. And here, the government, following in the footsteps of neighboring Kakamega County, has directed closure of all mortuaries both in private and public hospitals in a move aimed at discouraging lengthy burial preparations that encourage public gatherings. We are giving them three days to make arrangements of picking them for burial. And as that happens, as a county government, we have waived the mortuary fees to make it easier for our people to come and collect their bodies. These as the county government's work to complement efforts by the national government to stop the spread of COVID-19, where Homobi County has opted to involve fishermen and other local traders in sub-county response committees to raise awareness on the county's porous islands. Fish management committees are actually the people managing those islands. And they're even the same people we are using to help us on surveillance on the foreigners and aliens coming to the country. The Abusia counterparts underlining the important relations between residents at the Kenya-Uganda border towns, calling on all to observe precautionary measures. Jinsi hali na vwendelea kuwa, pengine hapo na mpaka unaweza ukafungwa. Lakini kwa sasa wafanyi biashara waendelea na shuguri zao za kawaida, biashara dogo au kubwa. The Kilifi County government exuded confidence with a newly set up isolation center in Gedi that has a 20 bed capacity. You happen to have contacted any of those persons who possibly either traveled to those affected countries or came into contact with an individual, all what you need to do, you just call our uh, hotlines and we shall respond to your, to, to your case. These, even as residents in other parts of the county, raised concerns on a diminishing supply of other basic medicines in pharmacies. Meanwhile, the Garissa County government has ordered the immediate closure of all nightclubs, bars and indoor football centers as the country steps up efforts to stop the spread of the deadly coronavirus. Garissa is one of the counties mapped as high risk. We are working with the National Minister of Health to ensure optimal availability of all the essential supplies. The department is also developing information, education and communication materials which will come in handy to educate the masses. And as this takes place, ANC leader Musale Mudabadi has challenged the national government to provide a clear lead in availing of a safety net in the management of the recurrent monthly financial concerns for Kenyans. Citizens and businesses will need safety nets, including protection against eviction by landlords. They also need protection against serious bank foreclosures because of interest on their loans. Rose Gakuo, K24 Evening Edition.